What's up guys, my name is Eric aka Azrael Eternai and welcome to a, another special edition episode of Minecraft. I'm sure you guys are over it by now. Um, but this one I actually have something to show you. Um, and all credit goes to um, the original guy that did it. Um, Destiny? Um, D-E-S-3-I-N-Y uh, on the Minecraft forums. He was the one that originally came up with this topic. I'm just doing a video guide for it. Um, because his post has kind of become out of date. Um, it was written, you know, like you can see, August, and hasn't been edited, um, ever, it looks like. Um, but I mean, people still use it, and it's a really cool thing to do, so, or a really cool, easy thing to do. Uh, so that's why I'm showing you, uh, and what we're going to do is, oh, this has moved for a little bit. Um, what we're going to do is, that's where I adjust that, um, we're going to use the uh, Cartograph G program, uh, which looks like this. Um, and what essentially it is is a mapper um, that was originally developed by Zombuster uh, and then updated by GameSlender. So it's not the original Cartograph, but uh, pretty close to it. Um, so. Uh, what we're going to do is, uh, when, it, when it opens up, it'll look like this. Uh, it won't have that block 48 thing on there. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to render some maps in order to help you find specific things. Like, I'm going to look at use it to look, find a dungeon. Um, so, uh, the world that I'm working on is World 3, so select whatever world it is. Uh, if you've renamed it, just figure it out. Um, so I'm using World 3. Uh, we want the orient style to be normal, orientation to be north, uh, show all blocks and all layers, and we want it to render as day. So then you just click render. Uh, I already made my map, uh, and it's going to be in whatever folder has the Carter Draft tree. Um, so I'm going to open World 3 North, and this is um, the map of my World 3. Um, and you can see like all the yellow is um, uh, torches that I've put up, so I, you can see I've made it do a lot of torches. Um, and how this helps us is that this gives us a base of where we are. Uh, and then we're going to make a couple more maps. Yeah. Um, we're also going to do uh, a height map gray uh, in the same orientation, show all blocks, and we'll render that, and I've already done that then you're going to want to do is select the block that you want to filter for. Um, and it has this, you used to have to go to the Minecraft wiki page to find all of the data values, which is, this is what it looks like. It has lists all of the blocks that are in the game and what their data values are so that you can find them. Um, but that's not necessary anymore. Um, mm. I'm going to minimize those. Um, those aren't necessary anymore. Um, so what you're going to do is, uh, this is my World 3 map. Uh, and then what you're going to do is, uh, now that we have this open, uh, this is GIMP, by the way, which is stands for GUI um, Image Manipulator Program or something like that. Um, and it's basically like a, a free version of Photoshop, and I'll put a link in the description for where to get it, um, if it's still available. Um, so we already have our main map open. What you're going to do uh, after that is you're going to go to File, Open as Layers, and then you're going to select the height wrap me. And for me, I'm doing 48, which is uh, cobblestone, or not cobblestone, but uh, moss stone. So I'm going to try to find dungeons. Um, you use those and just open the files, uh, which I've already done. And then what you'll get is it'll look like this, um, sort of, depending on what you're selecting. If you're doing moss stone like I am, this is what it looks like. And this is a 10 megabyte uh, map that I have. Okay, so um, these are all uh, of what you're seeing. These are all the dungeons being marked off, and I'll flash that layer for you. Those are all dungeons. Because uh, moss stone doesn't only occurs naturally uh, around a dungeon, so um, we're going to turn off the height wrap of the full map, and we're going to find a spot to 
to a dungeon. I believe the one that I've decided to do is somewhere over here. Yeah, it's this one right here. Um, and so what you're going to do is, um, I have a little few blocks in the game that I had set up to find a dungeon. Um, there's like a cave somewhere over here. And so there's just, those were just marking off where the cave was. And it turns out there's a dungeon nearby. So what you want to do is you want to figure out this distance between a known point and where you're going to be digging. Um, so what I did was I created a layer on top of this um, and added on a color. And I broke it up so that this is nine blocks long, so that's the tenth block. This is nine blocks long, so this is the tenth block. So this is from where this block is, this is 20 spaces away. Um, so that gives us a good idea of where we need to dig. Now, how far to dig is another question. We're going to take off that layer, and we're going to add in the gray height scale. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to go to Windows, Dockable Dialogs, and go to Colors. And I already have that open. Um, it'll open in GIMP. Um, this is specific for GIMP, so I apologize for um, you know whatever Photoshop users are going to be doing this or whatever uh, programs you're going to use, but you're going to want to go to um, to be able to get the RGB values for the grayscale. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to s use the selector tool to find the height of the block next to it. Actually, we can do one better. Um, we can do block that it's on, which is going to be 43, and then we're going to add back that layer and we're going to do a high scale of the other one. And that's 76. So that's going to be 33 blocks down. Um, it used to be in the old one that you had to divide by 2. I'm not sure if that's still true. I had tried practicing this and it ended up being that it was the actual value. So um, we're going to dig down and we're going to find out. So 43 and 76. So we're going to have a lot of digging to do because this is a pretty deep down dungeon. Um, so we'll get right to it. Go to our primary world. Uh, I've already positioned myself where those blocks are. Um, so this is the one that was in the image. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay. So this is the spot where we're going to dig. Yeah, I'm going to bust out with my shovels. Um, and you're just going to dig. And the reason this is a cool thing is because you can find dungeons and you can make spawn traps. Um, you know, depending on what I'm fi going to find down in here. Whoa! There is a cave. Um, but I don't believe we are far enough down yet. we need to find we're supposed to be hitting cobblestone and here it is so he found a spawner and a dungeon and I have this set on peaceful so that's why there's no mobs in here um, but now that we've found our dungeon. Um, I didn't do this properly so that... Ah, there's so much water! Um, I should have brought uh, sticks or ladder pieces because then you can use that to climb out of here but you can build, you know, now that you have a spawner here, you can just build a huge trap to capture whatever is in there. I'm not even sure what is, what is in here. It looks like it's a zombie one. Yeah, it looks like it's a zombie, so um, we can make this trap to make feathers. Um, so that is it, guys. As you can see, um, I have lots of dungeons to explore, um, and it only gets better. So I hope that f helps you guys out. You can use the same tutorial to find um, things like coal, iron, diamond. Um, and it will tell you where the blocks are in relation to other things. And you can also do um, 
uh, make like a base of operations. Like say if I wanted to um, go over into this desert area and dig down and dig down and dig down and make like a base of operations of cobblestone and just make like a shape so that you can find it on the map. You can actually do cobblestone on here and you can do the height of that cobblestone relative to what you're trying to find. So, um, there's loads of different things. I'm going to put the link to that topic in the description. Unfortunately, all of the images no longer work. So you're going to have to kind of play it by ear and hopefully this, uh, hopefully this kind of helps you out figuring out what you need to do for it. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this and I hope it was helpful. If not, ask some questions. I'll be more than happy to try to help. Um, like I said, I wasn't the original person to figure this out. Um, I'm basing off everything that I found off of somebody else's work, so um, you can also post on that topic and people will help you find stuff. Um, but it's complete, It's really useful. It is kind of you know a cheap way to do things, but if all you're really looking for is you know trying to find dungeons or stuff like that, then it's pretty useful. Um, but hopefully it helps you guys out. I know it's not it's not in the spirit of the game sometimes, but if you're bored like I am, sometimes you want to find a dungeon. Sometimes you want to make a mob trap. So, anyways, like I said, guys, I'll see you guys later. This is probably the third time I've said goodbye, so I will talk to you guys later. Uh, my regular Minecraft episodes are coming soon.